everybody. I'd like to walk you through this Kriya that I was speaking about earlier. This uh, Kundalini Yoga Kriya that helps, mm, it helps to get into the physical components and the, the associated gland and uh, nerve plexus where these wounds have most likely been hanging out. Remember, the wound of betrayal is in the solar plexus. Wound of denial is in the throat. Wound of judgment, third eye. Wound of separation is in the crown. And the wound of abandonment is in the root. So it's the six part series. One to introduce and a part for each wound. So the first part is you take your hands, you cross your right wrist over your left, you hook little fingers, you make a Gyan Mudra, thumb and first finger together, you splay open the other two fingers and this sits quite nicely and quite comfortably in line with the heart. The eyes are closed, but they look down at your mudra, they look down at your hand position. And you breathe in and out of your mouth as if you were holding a small uh, pea in, your, in between your lips. So it's like this. very gentle. It's deep, it's balanced, inhale and exhale is balanced, but there's no forcing. It's in incredibly feminine breath. You are taking the breath to the furthest reaches, both inhale and exhale, but it's done in such a surrendered way. And you're looking down, you're looking down into your heart readying yourself for the Kriya. So the next part, as we move into the wound of abandonment, your left hand is face down because it's working with the feminine principle, which is the energy rising up from the center of the earth. So the left hand is down. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. If you can't, my arms are straight and the left hand is face down parallel to the floor. My right arm is face up, interacting with the, the more heavenly energies of the masculine principle, an energy that's raining down from heaven. So the left hand, working with the energies uh, radiating up from the earth, and the right hand face up, working with the energies radiating down. So the eyes are closed, you're breathing in and out now through the nostrils and you're simply holding this position. You're using your arms to pull the shoulder joints open. This is the biting point. This is the trigger point because the shoulder joints are gonna stretch the heart open. If everything is weak and floppy, nothing's going to happen. So what we do is we offer our arms. We pull with our arms to open up the shoulder joints and to open up the front of the chest. That will be enough to get you going. You do this for anywhere between 3 to 11 minutes. The next part for betrayal, uh, sorry, for denial, you sit on your knees. So you sit on your knees with a wide open knees. You sit with one toe on top of the other. You stretch your arms up 
and open, creating a V. You then open up the heart and open up the throat. Your eyes are open and you're staring up at the ceiling, refusing to blink. And so you're opening up the channels that can either contract and withhold truth or to open up and to reveal transparency. So you're in this position. Eyes are open, long deep breathing. What you're actually trying to trigger off in yourself is the denial that you may have experienced with God. So as you look up, it's almost as if you're looking up into heaven and you're just coming face to face with this very lonely life without the presence of God. Anywhere between three and 11 minutes. The next one is judgment. Judgment is you take on the classic crucifixion posture. So you go back into your cross legs, palms are face forward. You stretch open your arms, they're parallel to the floor. And again, you use your arms to stretch open the shoulder joints. And you just sit there, breathing, eyes closed. Breathing into the face, all the judgments you've thought, you've spoken, you've received. And this feeling of willingness, just being willing to bear the full radiance of judgment. The next one is separation. Judgment, again, anywhere between three and 11 minutes. Separation, your left hand is facing forward and you're creating a right angle between palm and wrist. Your right hand is facing back towards you. Your hands are the same width as your shoulders. The arms are parallel to the floor. You just hold that position, feeling the, uh, the symbology of the palms. No, keep out. No, keep in. So it's this really contracted, numb paralysis. And you're working and working away with the breath. The eyes are closed, you're breathing through the nostrils. You're just working away to feel, to pray, to feel that humility, anywhere between three and 11 minutes. Now with the abandonment piece, usually we have a partner and we go into the classic Pietra posture, which is where one sits here and, and holds the other, very classic Yeshua and, and Mother Mary or, or Mary Magdalene, very a classic posture. So the one who's being held absolutely drops into abandonment and then you swap over. But because you're probably by yourselves, take on any posture that you find yourself going into when you feel abandoned, when you feel rejected, when you feel deserted, when you feel alone. For myself, I, uh, I make a fetus. I go into a little fetus and I lie on the floor, on the bed or on the sofa. So what you're doing is you're consciously entering the abandonment experience and bringing, bringing again, willingness, the willingness to serve, to stand up and to serve something greater than the abandonment. And like all the other pieces, three to 11 minutes, eyes closed, long deep breathing. As you come out of the whole experience, again, like, it, like all forms of classical yoga, lie down on the floor, feet flopped open, palms face up, little blanket over the top of you. Allow yourself to relax, integrate in the classic Shavasana position. And what I have been doing is uh, working with my um, willing participants and as they're resting, they're listening to the Ho'oponopono prayer. I love you. Forgive me.